What do you look for as a business when we're talking about competition between the carriers? What do you look for in a carrier for your business? Well, the most important thing, uh, Hannah, is, uh, and for our customers, is capacity and the ability to move freight same day from one market to another. And in Africa, along with many other uh, opportunities and issues, I think uh, the airline industry and the cargo industry certainly faces a few, few issues. And some of those issues have been infrastructure. I mean, one of the things that your office has said has just been the inadequacy in terms of infrastructure in some of the regions. Just talk to us about some of the regions that you have seen are, have even greater challenges and need to be faced urgently. Yeah, and just to, to contextualise it a little bit, I mean, Africa is a, is a, is a growth market for all of us. Um, so it's about providing the very best uh, infrastructure in order to get the goods in and out of a country. I think some of the numbers would suggest and reinforce why we need to keep pushing it forward. If you, and, and to the comment and the discussion you were just having, if you look at the amount of trade that stays in Africa, it's less than 30%. If you look at the trade that stays in Asia Pacific or in Americas or in Europe, that's much more like 70%. So doing business intra-Africa is actually more difficult in some cases than doing business out of Africa from China or from India or from any other market outside outside of Africa. So, And that's driven by a number of things. And, and airlines is only one part of it but uh, as you mentioned uh, the infrastructure particularly the customs environment uh, can be very challenging and very testing in certain countries across Africa. And how much discussion is happening around that because uh, this is one of the things I say to Karen uh, before we even started the interview with her was was that you know there's so much opportunity when it comes to investment and Africa continues to say there's so much opportunity in terms of investment but how much discussion is actually is actually happening around that a lot of African countries have not put in place what they need to to be able to help a business like yours and other businesses flourish. Yeah, and, and again, you know, there are more than 51 countries in sub-Saharan Africa and uh, each market is very different. There's normally a positive and a negative. So on the positive side, and, and going back to the airline discussion, you're seeing a lot of activity from the Middle Eastern carriers, you know, Emirates, Etihad, Qatar, all investing very, very heavily in producing and creating capacity for Africa. In Africa, we've got people like Kenyan Airlines who are doing have, have a very foot, good footprint in Africa, also investing very heavily. And most recently, Ethiopian Airlines uh, really ramping up their investment uh, and, and most recently purchasing six 777 aircraft. So along with South African Airlines, who, whilst I think face some challenges going forward, there are a lot of new entrants that are creating a lot of capacity. So that, that, that's from the airline perspective. And then from the infrastructure uh, point of view, I think your article a couple of moments ago was talking about the significant investment that's going in across Africa. I, it, it is changing, but it is a fairly slow process. So um, whether it be customs, where we, we work very closely with the various customs authorities across Africa to try and lead them to best in class, or whether it be road infrastructure, which would then in, in increase or lower cost of logistics but increase trade in Africa. So there's certainly a lot of discussion. There's certainly a lot of effort on both sides. Um, I think the real proof in the pudding, as always, is when people start to execute and do something about it. Charles, and in some markets, we're seeing that. In others, we're not. Charles, I want to ask you. I mean, I, 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 an airline like South African Airways, for instance, quite well established. When you have other players coming in, how long would your business wait to see how they perform before you would even consider doing businesses with countries like um, with, with some of the airlines that are coming into the space? Well, I mean, the Middle Eastern carriers I just mentioned are, are well established and we already work very heavily with them around the world. So they're a known entity. In other countries where you have perhaps a local player that restarts or a local player that increases, we look for stability, we look for sustainability in terms of how they're going to operate. And if we see that, then of course we, we capitalise on that opportunity which creates benefit and value for our customers. And again, I want to make the point that uh, you know, South African Airlines are a very, uh, they, have, they have the largest and best footprint. I think they just face some challenges going forward.